There's many problems with console overwatch and if you're a console player this is not going to surprise you or shock you in any way shape or form. But for if you don't know, I'm going to tell you and talk about them in this video. So with further ado, let's get into the video. I don't want this intro to be way too long. So first off, let's talk about two minor problems that are honestly not that big of an issue, but I feel like they should just be in the game by default. So the first thing is dead zone. Dead zone doesn't exist. I don't know what this is about. It's not just, it's just not in the game. I don't know. I looked for it all over the place and I thought in the release of Overwatch 2, they were going to give it, you know, give it to us, but they just didn't. It just, it's just not there. I don't know why it's not there. I don't know how it's not there. Every big game nowadays has dead zone. I mean, basically every game nowadays has dead zone in it. So I'm just not sure what this is about, but yeah, this just doesn't exist. Now this next issue, some people say it's an issue. Some people say it's not. I think it's an issue because why do we not have it? And what I'm referring to is FOV. My game always feels weird to me and I had to go look up what the FOV was and it was like 90 something. I'll put it up on screen if I don't remember the exact number, but yeah, we're stuck on this FOV when we could have more. I think PC is at like 103 or something like that. And it just blows my mind that we do not have the option to change our FOV. I just feel like that should just be a thing by default, by nature, because what's what what, what where's the harm? You know, like, where's the harm? Most people nowadays are on new gen consoles. So I feel like we should have the FOV like I, I don't I don't know why we don't. There's also not an explanation for this either, apparently. So that's cool. <laughs> So now we're going to talk about the bigger issues that need to be fixed ASAP. So if you don't know, there are Zim users running around everywhere in their rampant. Maybe you heard the term Zim here and there, but if you don't know what it is, I'll explain it to you very quickly. So a Zim is a device that allows you to use mouse and keyboard on a console. You get the benefits of a controller without actually having to be on a controller. Now this is many, this causes many, many problems because well, you get aim assist while on a mouse and keyboard, which is already basically like free aimbot in a way. And you can kind of see where I'm going with this. Not only that, but people like to put mods and stuff within their Zim or whatever. I'm not sure how they do it, but they add these types of things that basically allow you to have more aim assist, zero recoil. To be fair, there's not really recoil in the game to begin with, but zero recoil and stuff like that. And it makes it even worse because now you feel like you're fighting someone that just genuinely doesn't miss. And well, that's honestly the blatant truth. So these next couple of problems are extremely goofy and really, really silly, but I'm gonna talk about them anyway. So the first thing is hitting someone off. If you don't know what this is, it's basically where your internet goes bye-bye. Someone purposely kicks you off of your internet and makes it go offline for a bit. Now, I've received a couple of penalties in the past. This doesn't happen as often as it used to, but I used to get a few penalty, uh, penalties in the past because my internet would go off because someone would hit me off. Like if, you, if all of a sudden you're doing really, really well, and the enemy team are complaining about they're gonna lose or whatever, and then all of a sudden your internet goes out, and yeah, that's someone hitting you off. Um, this, this, this happens more frequently when you're like arguing with someone and they say bye-bye to you or uh, good night or something, and then your internet goes out. Yeah, that's basically what that is. The next thing is DOSing a server. If you don't know what this is, I'll put a clip on screen to show you what I'm talking about. But DOSing a server is where someone will purposely make that specific game that you're in just never exist, just never happen. So if you start randomly lagging or whatever and your ping spikes up to like 1000 and then you look at the like left side of your screen and it says the server had an error. Yeah, that's usually someone hitting the server so they don't take a loss, but they also don't take a win. It's mainly happening when someone's losing and they don't want to lose. So they hit the server off and bing bada boom, one thing leads to another and that's what happens. This is just very stupid. I mean, I don't really mind it because I don't get a loss. No one in the game gets a loss or a win. It's just basically a draw, but it's not a draw because it does, doesn't does exist. The match just apparently never happened. If you go to your match history, it'll, you will not see it because, well, the server quote unquote had an error or whatever. So the last problem and the biggest problem is the community never listening to us. We are never heard. The console side will never be heard, I swear. But not only that, there's just not enough content creators out for the console side to speak up about this unfortunately we don't have someone that has like a big reach or like around the community to start spreading this stuff now i'm pretty sure people like hope have been on a podcast with like 
like a dev at Overwatch, and yeah, I think he did speak about a few of the console problems, and I, I think they did say they're looking into it, but they're not very vocal about it, so it just feels like they're not doing anything. Keep in mind, once again, these problems have been around for years. Now, getting hit offline, I'm not sure what they can really do about that. I'm not really sure what they can do about people DOSing servers. You know, I'm not really with the whole tech side of that, but those are, at the end of the day, problems I just want to speak about. If they can fix it, then great. If they can't, then it's just something we're going to have to deal with. But yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. And yeah, peace out.